everyone, welcome back. It's time for another video and today I'm going to show you how I made <clears throat> one of these. The one I'm going to be making is going to have a different color set, but um, yeah, I found these cool little glass swans and I had these shells and so I thought I would make some really cool trick or treats. So that being said, here's another shell and it's about five inches, five by five. Yeah, I'd say it's five by five. By five. And I have mixed up 80 mils of resin. I think that's good enough. I'm using resin art flow. So for this one, I am think I'm going to be using some of these um, uh, decorative, sorry, this decorative filler. I'm not entirely sure yet. So I'm going to have that by standby. I have some uh, gravel from Dollarama, gravel glass. Um, let's see. I have this glass from Michaels that I got, which I don't really use very often because it has that white backing. So I have a lot of it, so I should start using it more often. And then there's this glass, which I adore. I love this stuff. And that is also from Michaels. And what else do I got going on? I have a whole bunch of, so here I have the blue, the clear gravel or the uh, filler, a little bit of the gravel and that I had used in another project and sometimes I have leftover. So that's what I'm going to use this first. And then here I have some shards from an old, um, a broken, uh, what do you call that, uh, Christmas bulb that broke, fell and broke. And I figured, hey, why not crush it up and use it? So I might just you put some pieces randomly in here. I don't like to throw anything away that can be used, right? It's a great idea. You guys use Christmas bulbs, smashed up Christmas bulbs for your art? I do. And then we have Rebel Glitter from Just For You Online UK, which... I'm not sure whether I'm going to use it or not. Okay, so let's get started. I've already gone ahead and mixed up my resin. And like I said, 80 mils. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour the mixture into the shell. Enough here, and if not, I can add some more. For this one, I'm going to go with the blue theme rather than the pink and the one that I just showed you. <clears throat> I'm going to add a little bit more of these. And by filling up the shell too, you're not having to use as much resin. And I know that when I pour the resin over this, I might lose some of my um, shine. But uh, let's see how much we actually use. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pour my resin in here now. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 I see here it's dipping, so I got to make, I have to. Uh, find something to prop this up. What can I use that's nearby? Hmm. Jeez Louise, just give me a second. I'll just use this guy. Stir stick here. And just do this. There we go. That works. <clears throat> and now we'll just pour the rest of this, the rest of the, rest of the resin in 
to the shell. And you can see here it's, it's filled up to the top. And yes, of course, I've lost the shine to the um, the gems that I the um, the glass and vase fillers that I used and that's okay um, there we go and I need a wipe bear with me I'm not worried about it because what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to add a little bit more of this uh, blue glass. I'm going to add a little bit more of the and that. And I don't really mind that that there's uh, that if there's some texture. Not everything has to be smooth. Right? Okay, like that. And now let's see if I want to. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Let's try this. Um, <clears throat> no, excuse me, guys. I have a little bit of a frog in my throat. <clears throat> All right, we're doing that there. Put just some random pieces here, there, and everywhere. Let me see how this lines up. I'm not going to do any waves on this. Um, I thought about it, but I just, uh, I think I just like the simplicity of it without the waves. It'll just look nice. Yeah, so Christmas bulbs that have fallen off your tree or, you know, kids have taken off the tree and have landed and smashed on the ground can be reused for your resin art. The glass ones, not the plastic ones, obviously. And, um, yeah, I think that's good. Too much. Ooh, I like it. It's pretty. Add a little bit here, too. And a little bit here. We'll submerge this here in a little bit, but okay. I'm going to add one more over here, over here, like that, and I think we're good to go. Okay, and I'm just going to spread this around. Get it submerged into the resin. My resin's already starting to thicken. <clears throat> So now I'm going to add my, make sure my glove is clean before I pick up. And here's the beautiful glass wand, right? And I just found this at the, at the thrift store, literally for next to nothing. And I thought this would look amazing if I just incorporated it into a trinitary. So now I'm just going to just place this right where I want it. I think there's good. 
see here. Like that. Let's do something here. I can have it going upward a little bit. Let me take a look. Okay. See how it's bring it, turn it around for you guys. And it sits like that. Okay, it's cute. And I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take some of these, um, <clears throat> excuse me, some of this sucker to fill it here. And I'm just going to add it around the parameter or behind the swan. Like that. Like that. Oops. Because, I mean, you just can never have too much bling anyway. Bling is good. <clears throat> Add some a little bit more towards the front as well. Because it's like bubbles. Swan, my swan is creating bubbles. Like it. Maybe add a little bit more right here. I highly doubt swans create bubbles, but maybe they do. And I'm, you know, but mine is. Okay guys, let me take a look around here. Pretty. Okay, so now that I've done that, oh, and you know what else? Okay, so we're I'm done with the filler. And I didn't really use this glitter too much, so I should have added it to the resin directly. Oh, but I'm just gonna sprinkle. It's kinda adds like a blue. It's pretty, I like it. Did I add too much? I don't know. You can see here my resin has is has started to thicken. Oops. <clears throat> okay, so what I want to do is I forgot. Mix this up but just a little bit more. Yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out. This one turned out. It's really pretty. And I'm going to take some diamond dust. And I'm just going to sprinkle it around. The 
the edge here just to add a little bit more sparkle right there. Like that. Even around the edge. I normally don't, uh, I only sprinkle this stuff when I have texture, not say directly on, um, um, you know, a, a flat surface resin, clear resin, only because it just, it leaves indents, but over stones and uh, filler, that sort of thing, I use it all the time. Okay, I think we're good. Right, and it just adds that little bit of extra something special. All right. Okay, so I think I'm gonna leave this as is. And when it cures, I'm gonna, we're gonna come back and um, trim it in gold or silver. I'm not sure which one yet, but here it is, guys. All right, see you in a bit. It's all cured. And I am still on the fence about whether or not I should do gold or silver. Gold is always nice. Is my go-to but I feel like I should do silver I don't know I don't know you know what I'm gonna do silver I'm gonna see what the silver looks like let's do this so I'm just going to outline the outer perimeter of the shell and um, and that's it. So let's start off here. I'm gonna do this first. Let's see. I don't know, guys. I feel like it's uh... I don't know. I don't know. You know what? I think I'm going to go with the gold. I do like the silver, kind of. I think I like the gold more. I think I have enough silver going on in the middle. <clears throat> Let's do this side. Let's do it here. This one's just about reaching this pen is about reaching its end here. A 
Oh boy. You know what? I think I'm gonna go with my gut instinct. I'm just gonna do silver. I can always just cover that up, I think. Can we? Can it be covered up? Look at this. Look at the state of this pen marker. It can. Okay. So I'm going to cover all of this at the back. I don't know. You know what, now that I've covered more area of it, I just am not drawn to the silver on this piece. I think I gotta go with the gold. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but I don't like it. Give this a shake. Should let that dry now before I cover it. Yep, I like the gold better. So anyways, I'm just going to go around and do some touch-ups once I do the first initial application. And this shell is more uneven than, the, than this one. more has more of us the scallop around the shell is just a little more defined more jagged which I like yeah definitely gold I don't know what it was about the silver it just wasn't calling to me it's not calling to me my friends Whoops. Definitely gold. What do you guys think? Yeah. It's so cute. I like the gold better. Some of you may like the silver better, but, um, I mean, the beauty of this is you can always change it too and just go over it with the silver later on. But anyways, I'm going to finish this and you'll see the full result at the end. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have I hope you guys have an amazing day. Take care now. Bye.